Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel, Prince Automation Destination. So in our previous lecture of BDD Cucumber series, we discussed about data table and we discussed about what is the difference between scenario outline and data table, which is widely asked questions during the interviews. Okay. In case you want to gain more understanding on scenario outline and data table, you can go back to my previous videos and I'll be putting them into the eye icon. Okay what we are going to discuss today so we are going to discuss about another important top topic in btd cucumber that is hooks so we will try to understand what are hooks in cucumber then we will uh, try to understand what is the relation between cucumber hooks and test ng annotations it is a theoretical part so let me cover it right now so test ng has some annotations at thread before suit at thread before class at thread before test likewise cucumber also has provided some provision by which we can control some executions before and after execution of scenario so these are known as hooks so they are like different type of hooks in cucumber so hooks and test ng annotations both are similar so in test ng we have annotations and in cucumber, cucumber we call them as hooks right so they are like different type of hooks so these are the four major hooks which are getting used widely so before before step after after step so before is nothing but before scenario so in case we want to perform certain actions before each scenario then we will be using before and in case we want to perform certain actions before each step then we'll be using before step likewise after and after step in case we want to perform some post execution operations after scenario or after, after step then we can utilize these annotations okay without further delay let me jump onto the practical discussion so previously if you notice what we were trying to do we were uh, simply launching the url let me go back here so if you will observe what we were trying to do in this case we were launching uh, the url and uh, we were uh, directly using it within the uh, like within the scenario itself we were not using the hooks so let me execute the test case or let me execute the test case in this case the control won't go to the hooks right so we will first try to understand what are the hooks so there is no hooks or no before and after operations getting performed right in case we want to perform uh, like before and after operations what we need to do we need to create a separate class hooks right so i have created one hooks class wherein i have used all four annotations or all four hooks before after before step and after step so this is what i have written i have written some sample code i am in before scenario i am in after scenario i am in before step and i am in after step the sequence of these hooks does not matter the control will come to this before before execution of each scenario and the control will go to after scenario uh, after after hook after execution of the whole scenario and before step the control will come after each step execution of a scenario right after step will uh, uh, like uh, like post execution of each step the control will come in the after step so these are the counterpart of each other meaning reciprocal of each other i mean right so how we can make it utilize so if you look at the log when i run the test cases the control didn't go here how we can let cucumber know that this is also the location where you need to run about the hooks so we need to simply go to uh, what I mean, UI test server, or we can say, and here I'm going to provide hooks. But there is one thing that we need to uh, uh, like take care of, right? When we are going to use multiple parameter for a particular cucumber option, we need to use curly braces. Okay, so I'm going to use curly braces. Now, what will happen? The control will now go to hooks as well. So let us try to understand the flow now. So if you'll observe. It has entered username and password correct so if you will now observe what happened in this case we have uh, uh, like uh, let me go to the scenario first so this particular scenario has four steps right and uh, what should happen in this case and we have written before scenario hook and after scenario hook as well as before step and after step this is what we have written right so what should happen because we have four steps so we have the control should go to before step four times similarly the control should go to after step four times and in the before scenario the control should go only once and and the, uh, similarly the control to after scenario should go once only so in before step and after step the control will go for four times four times because we have four steps 
right so if you look at it i am in before scenario this is one and we don't have any other similarly i am in after scenario which is getting executed at last right likewise i am in before step this is getting executed before first step that is user has launched url then this is getting executed after user has launched the url this is where we have started the browser as well if you will observe right that's why we are getting this particular line of code similarly user has entered credentials so we again went into before step and then we again came into the after step after the execution likewise for the third step and third step after fourth step and fourth step after right so this is how hooks can be used to control the execution and in hooks uh, when we write the annotations we need to provide the methods as well because uh, java need method right before is a hook of cucumber but in order to bind it with the java we need to have one method and we can pass one parameter which will come through or which will travel through cucumber only right so in case for example i want to i want to like uh, check the status right after the execution scenario so what i can do i can simply use scenario dot get status and using this i can get the status and based on this i can attach the screenshot as well so we, uh, but in order to attach the screenshot what we need to do we need to take the screenshot first so using this scenario uh, variable we can get the scenario status right so this is how the hooks can be utilized okay now what i am going to do how we can use it so for example we have this step right this test case so what i want is before each scenario i want to launch the uh, application separately so what i'm going to do in this case i want to i'm simply going to copy this i'm going to keep it into the before scenario hook right but driver is not known here right so what i need to do i need to go back here once again i'm going to use web driver driver equal to chrome driver right and once i got this what is the next step i need url as well right so i'm just copying the url and i'm going to hooks once more i have copied it but the next step is how to because this is where we have initialized the driver right now when we have initialized the driver so the next step is how to utilize it across the application so what i'm going to do first of all driver right i'm going to make it at, as public static Right. So this uh, particular driver is now getting used here for the global purpose. I am simply going into the step def now and instead of uh, reading from this because this was the previous logic, what I am going to do now, I am going to simply use import static import. I am going to do the static import. Using bit what I am going to do, I am going to get the static instance of driver which is common across the execution. right? So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to comment this particular line of code because we have uh, moved this particular line of code to the hooks part, right? So we don't need to write this particular line of code for each scenario again and again, correct? So this is how we can utilize before hook or before hook can be used. So if you notice, we are able to launch the application, we are able to lo uh, log in, right? And we have utilized the after hook as well, right? If you notice what we have done, so in the after hook, we are quitting the driver. That's why the Chrome browser got closed. Okay. Likewise, uh, like before and after are still getting uh, executed, right? Before step and after. So this is how we can utilize hooks. This is what are the hooks in Cucumber and how we can utilize to perform before and actions, uh, before and after operations. And uh, uh, I'm using the previous version of uh, Cucumber. If you notice 7.13.0. But now there is a new cucumber in the market which has certain new annotations. So I'll be covering uh, this session uh, with those annotations or those hooks in the later sessions. So apart from it, uh, we have one tagged hooks as well that we are going to discuss in the next session. Thank you for now.